Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to offer a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's a problem for today, for exam P on probability. The total claim amount for a health insurance policy follows a distribution with density function f of x equal to 1 over 1000 times e to the minus x over 1000 for x greater than 0. The premium for the policy is set at 100 over the expected total claim amount. If 100 policies are sold, what is the approximate probability that the insurance company will have claims exceeding the premiums collected? So the problem doesn't say this directly, um, but you expect it to understand uh, that the 100 policies are independent. And the um, probability density function given is the PDF of an exponential uh, distribution with a mean of 1,000. So the expected claim per policy is that 1,000, and the variance is 1,000 squared. And, uh, variance of exponential distribution is the square of its mean. The premium collect is 100 uh, over the mean, so 100 plus 1,000, that's 1,100. One so that's the premium collected. And for 100 policies, a total of uh, 110,000 uh, are collected um, in premiums. The total claims is, um, is the random variable w equal to the sum of the x's. The expected value is, of course, the sum of individual expected values. So, uh, expected value of a claim is 100 times e of x, um, where e of x is known to be 1,000. Um, so, um, that's 100,000, while um, thanks to independence of the 100 policies, the variance is the sum of variances. And by the central limit theorem, W has an approximately normal distribution. So, we can conclude that the probability that W is more than 110,000, the premium collected, is the probability that W minus E of W divided by the standard deviation of W is greater than 110,000 minus E of W over the square root of variance of the standard deviation of w. And that left-hand side, because w is approximately normal, the left-hand side of this inequality has to be approximately standard normal because it's standardized. We subtract the mean divided by a standard deviation, and that its mean becomes 0, and the variance becomes 1. So this is the same as probability that z, a standard normal random variable, is greater than 110,000 minus 100,000 over the square root of, what is the variance? Well, it's 100 times 1,000 squared, um, and um, that's the same as probability that z is greater than 1, because this right-hand side number is exactly 1. Uh, you can see that immediately because the top is 10,000 and the bottom is the square root of 100 is 10, the square root of 1,000 squared is 1,000, so 10 times 1,000, 10,000. So the right hand side is 1. The property of z is more than 1 is 1 minus the property of z is less than or equal to 1, which we can look up in the table to be um, 0.8413. Uh, and so uh, that uh, probability that we're looking for is 1 minus point. 8413, and that comes out to be 0.1587, which is answer B. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine. Good luck in your studies, and good luck on the test.